Hey everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com. It's Saturday afternoon, and I've got two programs that I'm going to test on uh, detection and removal. Uh, we won't be doing any prevention stuff in this video. Uh, we've got a machine with uh, about a thousand pieces of malware on it, and uh, we're going to test out Avira Antivir Premium and Dr. Webb's Curate 5, which was just released not too long ago. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. You've already seen me install uh, Antivir and configure it, so I'm not going to really... I'm going to go kind of fast on that one. Just Let's get it installed, see what it can detect and remove, and that's what we're trying to do here. Um, I started uh, forums last night, uh, Friday night, and I have a lot of work to do on it, but uh, it's pretty exciting. So if you get a chance, stop by. It's remove-malware.com, and then click the forums button when you get there. Um, I've got already got uh, a ton of people posting on there, a lot of good friends, and um, I'm working it, you know, to make it the best uh, we can make it for helping people out with uh, malware issues and talking about products. I often think about malware products as uh, almost like hot rods in a way. It's funny. You know, everyone's got their favorite hot rod and uh, they want to talk about it. I never thought about that, but it's true, man. A lot of people fanatical about their um, anti-malware applications. And I kind of became a fanatic of um, HIPS, HIPS software. I just love that whole idea. I always uh, like reading about it when I get some free time. I love uh, Komodo, Internet Security, Drive Sentry, and Defense Wall. Anything that doesn't require signature, signature-based stuff these days. Signature uh, traditional antivirus. This is a signature antivirus with a little uh, heretics package, and I'm still not sure how to say that. I think it, is it heuristics or heretics. Anyway, the big deal with this uh, Vera Premium Security Suite is that it detects adware, and it's got a little bit of a firewall in it. a couple things I'm not going to install that I just don't care about, like uh, backup and mail guard. I'm working on getting my um, screen. I'm trying to record at HD, so uh, I haven't I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm hoping some of the future videos will be a little more clear for you. You can also um, add that uh, I think it's FMT equals 18 switch to the end of your videos, and that makes them uh, clear. This is uh, one of the rogues I see a lot. It's Antivirus 2009. So you can you can see how long it takes to install on a really infected machine. It 
and after this is installed I'll uh, I'll go ahead and update it and um, start scanning and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video I'll be right back okay that um, PC had to be rebooted it, it actually did the install and then at the end it asked me to reboot because of the uh, Windows XP firewall um, PC's coming up now Uh, the Avira suite is loading. The one thing I wish that every program had is that um, that same thing that Norton Internet Security 2009 has where it actually kills all the malware before it starts. So with all the other security suites I test, it seems like all the malware starts and then we get the security suite. Um, I wish all of these um, security suites had an early load feature, like a little, like a little pre-boot feature, maybe a, an extremely quick scan to check startup items. I don't think that would be too difficult, but I just wish everyone had it. So, um, Avira is now detecting everything. And it detected some adware. This is what the uh, premium suite does. It detects adware. The free version does not. So what we're going to do is we're going to move everything to the quarantine. I don't delete anything when I'm out on a customer call because you never know what that file may be. It may be a false positive. You want to make sure you have these programs sitting around in case you need to actually restore them because they could be something legit. And um, the issue with um, Avere and a lot of other applications is they always have to uh, delete on reboot or you have to do a safe mode scan with them. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to configure Avira to automatically quarantine everything for me. And the uh, premium version allows you to actually set up the guard to do that. Currently, I'm just denying access to those right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new video. I'll be right back.